Given that the femoral triangle is a 3D space containing some important anatomical structures, think of it as a pyramid. The mnemonic sail helps us to remember the lateral, medial and superior borders. That's sartorius, adductor longus, and the inguinal ligament. But there's also a floor and a roof to this 3D triangle. Let's get rid of this 2D image and bring in some 3D elements now. Got the femur there, sartorius, adductor longus, the inguinal ligament, and then down the back, pectineus and iliopsoas. So the floor of the femoral triangle is made up by the body of adductor longus, the body of pectineus, and a little bit of iliopsoas as well. Again, the floor of the femoral triangle is made up by adductor longus, pectineus, and iliopsoas. The roof is made up by the fascia lata, which is the border of the main fascial compartment of the thigh. You'll know it from the tensor fascia lata, a muscle which stretches it out on the lateral side. There's a little hole up here in the fascia lata, which is called the saphenous opening. The greater saphenous vein pops through there. And of course, the femoral triangle is open up the top to allow in its contents. And we'll take out the inguinal ligament and bring them in here. So lateral, we have the femoral nerve. Next, we have a fascial compartment called the femoral sheath which contains the femoral artery, femoral vein, and the femoral canal. The femoral sheath ends by blending in with the adventitia of these vessels, around four centimeters below the inguinal ligament. The femoral canal ends earlier, up here. It contains one single lymph node. After entering the femoral triangle, the femoral nerve divides into branches which supply the muscles nearby with innervation. That's the quads, sartorius and pectineus. It spits out anterior cutaneous branches to supply sensory innervation for the medial thigh and knee, and its saphenous branch supplies the medial lower leg. The femoral artery and vein slink down together along the bed of adductor longus and magnus, and once they're past the border of sartorius, they're out of the femoral triangle and into the adductor canal. Efferent lymphatic vessels coming out of the node in the inguinal canal then make up the deep inguinal lymph nodes of the thigh. So that's it for the femoral triangle. Catch our next video for more info on the femoral canal. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.